Hello and welcome to this World Cup prediction video. It had to be done, I had to do one because sometimes I'm right and I regret like not having proof. <laughs> so this is my proof, but also this could be the death of me because if it's way off, then you can just always point back to this video and be like, look, he knows nothing absolutely nothing and that's that's more likely to be true in reality isn't it so the way this video is going to work is i'm going to go through each group and say how i think that's going to finish and then we'll we'll get to the final as it goes i'll put some um what they call chapters in and stuff so you can go around if you want to see specifically what group you're in your nation and i'll show i have some graphics and stuff that i can show you but in the background i've got some fifa just playing because why not? It's a good thing to put in the background. It's the new FIFA update uh, with all the World Cup teams. It's not the best, but, you know, it's something. Oh, and real quick, I do want to mention that if you like watching international FIFA, um, I play a lot of the older uh, international FIFA games. So FIFA 10 World Cup, FIFA 14 World Cup. I'm currently doing a Qatar series in FIFA 10. I'm doing a San Marino series in FIFA 14. There's a San Marino series in FIFA 10 that's finished and an Iceland one in FIFA 10 that's finished and then I'm also doing like a Milan career mode um, in FIFA 12 so if you like that kind of stuff do subscribe and have a look at this channel um, and hopefully I'll see you in some of those other videos too. So firstly for the groups I use the website World Soccer Talk uh, to do my predictions so I guess I'll, I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Um, they only allow you to do the predict the groups but you can uh, you can put your score predictions for each of the games and then it gives you how the group finishes based on what your score predictions are. Um, and I, I think that's a, a better way of doing it because sometimes the way that you just, if you were just to place them, then that might not even be possible in some ways. I, I can't think of an example of that, but I, I feel like I've had that problem in the past. So yeah, I've done it by predicting the scores and then some, you know, and then I feel like it's a bit more of an accurate prediction for what I, how I feel things are going to go. And then for the second part, I use the, uh, the EA Sports FIFA uh, predictor just to do the uh, the rest of it. So starting out, Group A, we've got Qatar, we've got Senegal, we've got Ecuador, and we've got Netherlands. Now, of course, the clear favourites for this is Netherlands. And then, really, you're you're talking about Senegal or Qatar because you know some people might write off Qatar, but they have gotten pretty decent recently and they are the home nation after all so they've got that kind of advantage there now i don't want to talk through every single game because i'll be here for ages but here is my predictions i think senegal are really good i think they're like kind of dark horses i don't think they're you know i don't think they're gonna win but i think they could surprise us and go quite far in this and i think the same actually goes for netherlands in terms of they're really good but they could surprise us and not do as well as we think i've put qatar and ecuador to draw in that first game uh, the qatar the the home nation has never lost since they switched it to home nations um so and i think it's only been a draw one a lot of you know a lot of the i, I feel like qatar could win that game uh if i was going to pick my favorite to win that game it would be qatar but i'm thinking a draw but yeah i've got netherlands coming in at first and then senegal coming in at second and then qatar getting knocked out but I do think you know if I if I had to like pick three teams I think Qatar you know they could sneak into that second place just because they are the home nation moving on to group B we've got England which is my home nation uh, we've got Wales we've got USA and we've got Iran now I think this is an incredibly <laughs> difficult group for England I think uh, Wales love to beat us same with Scotland um, you know even though the golf in players is, is quite large, you know, in, in squad. I, I, they, they, they just, they do well against us. Um, so I, I worry about that. And I also worry about the USA game. But here is my predictions. I've got England coming in at first. I, for a bit, I did have Iran second uh, because they've got some good players. If England weren't in the group and that was like Brazil, Wales don't qualify because I've got Wales to beat us because I think they will beat us on the final day. You know, they need a win to qualify. I think they can do that. And honestly, I think there, there, is, there is an outside chance that we do get knocked out in the group stage. Without doing this kind of predicting game, I my main prediction would be that we get knocked out in the first knockout round. I don't really have high hopes for England in this tournament. I'm hoping, obviously, that we go further. And actually, you know, spoiler, I do have us going a bit further um, in this little simulation, uh, in this little guessing game. But I am kind of worried. USA... Uh, I, I I just don't know about their team really. I, I don't think it's you know it's got some really strong players, but I think they're going to underperform. 
Now, Group C, we've got Poland. Um, we do love Poland. We've got Argentina. It's a lot of people's favorite to win the tournament. We've got Mexico, and we've got Saudi Arabia. Now, here is my predictions for it. I've got Argentina winning all the games. Um, I think they will struggle uh, with Poland, um, but I just see it being like they're trying to break them down, but they do get the win in the end. You know, I think their team's gotten a lot stronger since the last World Cup. And I think Poland, they may struggle against like Mexico and stuff, but I'm, I'm hoping that they come through and I, I'm pretty sure they'll, they'll qualify in second place. Now, here's a funny one for you. Group D, I think it's Group D I'm on now. We've got Tunisia, we've got Australia, we've got France, we've got Denmark. I'm just going to show you it now. I've got Denmark in first. Now, that's one of those things where I, just by doing the scores, that's what's ended up happening. But they are level on uh, everything so i don't know whether that how that works um but for some reason it's got denmark to finish above france i wonder if that a b c d e f it might be alphabetical <laughs> so yeah i don't know but yeah so i think the the main players here are tunisia denmark and france i think france have a lot of injuries that the, the team looks really worrying in midfield and you know they've just had Nkunku have to pull out as well this audio is terrible i just wanted to chime in and say i made this prediction before the benzema injury and also before the uh mané injury so none of those things were things that i knew about now but then their attack is amazing and they've got really good defense but i don't know i i, I feel like denmark a really strong defense really strong midfield good attackers great goalkeeper you know i think they could you know they're going to beat tunisia um, even though Tunisia, again, they have great, some, some great players as well. I'm excited to watch Hannibal. But I think the, the, the key is Denmark will probably beat Tunisia and Australia. And then what happens against France, you know, that dictates the rest of it. I think they could pull the draw. The next group, group of death, uh, in some ways, Germany, Spain, you know, the two, the two biggest teams that are in the same group, I'd say. Of course, I've got them both to qualify. I've got their game being a 1-1, which is a bit of a cop-out, to be fair. No real surprises in this group. Um, I suppose Costa Rica losing all their games isn't great. I think Japan you know, it could, they've got some really great players now. Um, so, yeah, but I don't think they can challenge against Germany and Spain. I think when I did this, I may have underrated Croatia. I think they might do better than this. I think they will beat Morocco now that I uh, think of it. But Morocco have some really good players too with Hakimi. I think Bono in goal and goal and, and Nesiri up front, I think that's how you say it. Oh, and Ziyech has actually gotten called up. I thought he retired. Um, so they've got a great team, so I think they, they might do better, but then Canada's getting really good lately as well, so it's this <laughs> this group's really difficult. But I think Croatia and Belgium will be the ones to qualify, and then oh, it's so close between Canada, Morocco, and Croatia, to be honest. I do love Morocco. I've got Morocco top. I've been to Morocco, so it would be cool to see them go further. I, I, yeah, I think Croatia's the team that's going to do it. Next up, we've got Serbia, Switzerland, Brazil, Cameroon. Now, oh. I, I, I think this one is one that might be different to what I've, I've said because I was looking at the Serbia attackers and, and the midfield I'm like this is, this is a great team but I think Switzerland actually might be the team to qualify so I might switch that Switzerland game down at the bottom yeah, if, you, if you're seeing it now to 2-0 Switzerland or 2-1 Switzerland I'll go um, and have them go through instead of this because I think Jacka might actually be a really strong force in this tournament he was really good in the last tournament um but he's playing so well at Arsenal at the minute. I think, you know, he's going to be even better. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to switch Serbia and Switzerland. But Serbia, you know, that's how close it is. Um, Brazil, I think, are just going to dominate. Um, I think they're great. I think they're all round brilliant um, at the minute. They're, 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 yeah, I'll leave it at that. And then finally, we got Ghana, Korea, Portugal, and Uruguay. Uruguay, my dark horses, I think they got a real chance here um, at going real far. So I actually got them top in the group. Um, I've got a draw with them, Portugal, Uruguay. I feel bad for Korea, but and they've got some really good players as well. Um, but I don't know, I think Ghana will finish in that third place. Remember, you, you know, obviously I don't know everything. <laughs> you know, this is just, uh, I've done this quickly and I haven't done much research. I've just looked at the squads. Um, like, I don't know how they're performing necessarily, so, but I just wanted to do my predictions and put them out there before the tournament starts. So, yeah, that means that we get a round of 16 that looks like this. So, remember, I'm switching Serbia and Switzerland, um, but I don't think that makes much of a difference, to be fair, with the result. So, starting off Netherlands-Wales, I think Wales can surprise us sometimes. They've got so much passion, but I, I do think Netherlands just have so much quality. Uh, yeah. I think Netherlands will come away with a win there, maybe, like... 3-1. Three, three, and then Argentina-France, again, that could go pretty much either way. 
Um, but I think, you know, France, they're weak at the minute. I think Argentina would break that down. I think, yeah, Argentina, 2-1. <laughs> England, Senegal. Now, I said that we could go out in the round of 16. Um, we could go out to Senegal. It's entirely possible. But I, I'm, I'm going to go with England. I'm going to go 2-1 to England. Um... Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I think uh, oh, we could totally go out. I think we, I think we're gonna go out in the round of sixteen. That's what I'm saying. But based on this, I'm saying we're getting through. Denmark versus Poland. Now, two very strong nations. Good defenses. Uh, good attackers. Um, I think Denmark would make it through. I, I would hope that Poland could. I think I would be supporting Poland. Uh, well, I'd have to be. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with Denmark going through the war one one or maybe one nil. Yeah, one nil or one one on penalties. Germany, Croatia. I think that's easy. Germany. I think Germany are really strong at the minute. So yeah, Germany two nil. Brazil, Portugal. Again, I said Brazil are amazing at the minute. Portugal. You know, yeah, I suppose that could go either way. You know, they've got some real quality players that could nick it. Um, you know, Bruno Ronaldo all that but i think brazil win the i think yeah brazil two three two three two spain belgium belgium are at the end of their like golden era you know all their great players like hazard de bruyne getting on you know their defenders vertonghen um alderweireld um I'm, i mean i'm not entirely sure who's still there oh the thing with brazil right they've got danny alves what if he if he wins the world cup He's like the greatest right back ever, right? Because the amount of trophies he's gotten, um, he's mental. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, Spain, Belgium. Um, yeah, I'm going Spain 2 0. I think Spain aren't that good at the minute, really. But I think they come away with a the win there. And then Uruguay, it says Serbia, but I'm saying it's Switzerland now. 2 1, Uruguay. Yeah, they make it. So then the quarterfinals look like this Netherlands, Argentina, Germany, Brazil. Wow. England, Denmark, and Spain, Uruguay. Netherlands, Argentina. Argentina have to make it, right? Because uh, Netherlands, they're good, but I think they're weak in some places. I mean, they haven't made tournaments recently, but they have been playing good sometimes. So, yeah, it's difficult. But, yeah, I'll go with Argentina 2-1. Germany, Brazil. Germany, powerhouse. But, again, I think Brazil have a bit too much form. I'll go Brazil. 2-1, um, yeah, Brazil 2-1, England, Denmark, ah, oh, yeah, see, again, England could go, I, I, I look at that and England could go, but I'm saying England make it, England will make it, um, on penalties, <laughs> yeah, England will, actually, if it goes to penalties, we lose that, I think, because we, we've had some luck in penalties, and that's got, got to go away, so maybe, let's say 1-0 to England, and then Spain, Uruguay, Again, like I said, I've been raving about Uruguay, and I've been saying not so positive things about Spain. I think Uruguay win there. Uh, I'm going to say 2-0, which leads us to the semi-finals: Uruguay, England, Argentina, Brazil. So it's all South American except for England. Um, Argentina, Brazil in the semis. I really want Argentina to face Brazil. That's the game that I want. Really, that would be a great final. Um, but it, it comes in the semi-final, and I say that Brazil win. Oh, it would be close. It would be 2-1 to Brazil. I think Argentina are great, but Messi, you know, I don't, I don't think he'll win it. Um, I think Brazil have a lot of talent at the minute defensively and attacking, whereas Argentina maybe are a bit top-loaded, um, although they do have some great defenders in there now and a, a goalkeeper like Martinez. So, yeah, it's difficult. But, yeah, Brazil will win 2-1, and then England are going out to Uruguay. 100%. I remember when Suarez scored against us. Um, there's no way we're beating Uruguay, I don't think. Um, so that means we've got a final of Brazil versus Uruguay. Who thought Uruguay would make the final? Not me. Um, they're my dark horses to go far, but I don't think they're going to win, and I don't think they're necessarily going to make it to the final, but they're my dark horses. Um, and I think with that final, Brazil will win. Uh, Brazil will win the World Cup. Uh, Danny Alves must be the most decorated like defender of all time at that point that's just awesome um and then yeah uh, yeah i think brazil will win the world cup 100 percent. and then in the third place playoff i think that's easily argentina but yeah so that is my prediction so let me know what you think i mean i think this is going to go up 
Saturday, maybe. Uh, so the day before the tournament even starts. Um, so there might be more information since then. I mean, I remember when Spain sacked their manager like just days before, you know, anything can happen just before, you know. In theory, you know, Messi could break his leg and then what's that do to the predictions? I think if that happened, Argentina wouldn't make it as far. So, but again, anything can happen. That's the beauty of this tournament is that this is 100% wrong because the little teams outperform, the big teams underperforming. Remember Germany, remember um, when they, they were horrible and then was it Spain that got beaten heavily by Netherlands? You know, it seems like the winners always do terrible. So, you know, I, I've not got France to go far because, you know, I don't think they're necessarily, necessarily the greatest right now, but the big, the big teams have upsets. Remember when Brazil, um, you know, got beaten by Germany? So anything can happen, and I'm looking forward to, yeah, I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing how this goes. I think England won't make it that far. I think we'll get knocked out in the first knockouts. Um, but based on the fixtures that I'm looking at, this is what I've said will happen. England aren't going to make it that far. Uruguay aren't going to make it that far, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, it's difficult, isn't it? So let me know what you think is going to happen. Um, yeah. And uh, let me know where you're from and where you think your team's going to, how you, your team's going to do. Do you think you'll make it to the knockouts? Do you think you'll make it, you know, quarterfinals, semifinals? Let me know. Um, and yeah, do subscribe.